22 and 12. Say it again. Revelation 22 and 12. That's right. And behold, I come quickly, uh -huh. and my reward is with me yeah. to give every man according as his work shall be. Oh, yeah, so like it says, like the brother was just reading in the last precept, like the brother was just reading in the last precept, uh -huh. you know, that he's coming to render, your, your, he's going to render you your reward. You know, whatever way you living in, you're going to get the, the, the reward that comes with that. Yeah. So if that's wicked, if you sow into the flesh, hey, man, you're going to reap up the flesh uh, corruption, man, which is death, man, destruction. If you sow into the spirit, you're going to reap righteousness, man. You know, I mean, I'm going to skip down to 14. Yeah. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, May enter in through the gates of the city. Now we know that the Savior speaks. That's how they that do His commandments, not that do my commandments, because He came speaking the words of the Father. So you need to seek out the ways of the Father and keep those ways. This is, this is uh, Isaiah 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but of not, but not of me, and that cover with the covering. But not of my spirit, uh -huh. that they may add sin to sin. Yeah, because they're covering, their, they're covering themselves with the spirit of who? The so-called white man. Because he allows them their free will to be wicked all through the earth, man. Okay? If, they, if the Bible was the law of the land, they would have all the Bible. But they don't. Why? Because we know they're the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay? Go ahead. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah, and the Egypt and the shadow of Egypt that our people trust in is America, man, because America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, man. Okay, in a place of bondage. For who? You Israelite. Go ahead. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Yep. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah, so, so the strength of, strength of the Pharaoh is going to be your shame. So all, all them Jakes, all you Israelites devoted, keep voting for these presidents, basically or liking will be liking the pharaohs today hey they're gonna be your shame man okay because all a president do is follow the orders of the higher elite man they don't they don't do nothing by their own man they're a puppet okay everybody be getting mad at trump trump is told what to do he don't own nothing he don't rule nothing he's told what to do you know what i'm saying they put him on the forefront so you people can point and say he's the bad guy he ain't doing nothing man you know now, we know he's an idiot. Hey, but guess what? He, he bringing on destruction, man. He making other nations hate America more, man. And we, we, we with that, man. We with that. You know? He's pissing the nations off. You know? Hey, which the Bible says the nations was going to start to get pissed off and start coming against coming against America, man. And you see it, man. You, you starting to see that the beast hate the whore, man. The beast is the NATO and the EU, and the whore is America, Babylon, and Great, man. That's why they go uh, dropping that American dollar, because they know that dollar don't mean nothing. Okay, they doing their different trades and the oils between themselves. You know, they tired of being ruled over. You know, they tired of being bullied. So now what? They starting to stand together and be against America. Go ahead. Oh, you got. Uh, got and, and the trust, in, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Uh huh. Yeah, so the trust in the shadow of Egypt is your confusion. Right, hey, and that's dealing with, that's why you run around the earth calling yourself black, African American, Puerto Rican, thinking whatever you can do what you want. That's confusion, man. Egyptian, more, yeah. all, these different all these different religions, all these different coverings you're giving yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's confusion according to the Lord, man. You know? Give me, uh, all right, so give me a please uh, read that and then go to uh, Sarah's Five. All right, this is Romans 2. Started fine, but after thy hardness and impenitent heart, mm -hmm. treasures up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judge, judgment of Yahweh, yep. who will render to every man according to his deeds. Yep. So that's just going back into what we touched on earlier about the Yahweh Shai coming, giving rendering unto every man according as his work shall be. Yep. If you have a hard heart toward the Most High, you build up wrath for the day of judgment. Yeah. If you're heeding up to his ways and you're trying to seek after his ways, you're building up righteousness. Right. So, hey, when that time comes, you're going to get what you ask for, man. Yeah. You reap what you sow. It's all going back to the same basic rudiments repeated over and over again, man. 
You ain't gonna get nothing but what you sow. All right, throw it on your fast. This is uh, Ecclesiastes or Sirach. Five, I'm sorry, seven again. Go that one. And one. Yeah. Set not thy heart upon thy good, and say not, I have enough for my life. That's right. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Yeah, so you're not, uh, uh, give me uh, the book of Jeremiah 9, 17, 17, 9. Jeremiah 17, 9. Jeremiah 17, 9. Yeah, Jer Jeremiah 17, 9. Right, so what the Lord said is what? Follow not thy own mind, man. Follow not the ways of thy own heart set up, man, because what? Because the Lord said that a heart, your heart is deceitful above all things, man, which meaning your mind. Okay? You got it? Jeremiah 17 and 9? Jeremiah 17 and 9. Yeah. The heart is deceitful above all things uh -huh. and desperately wicked. Yes. Who can know it? Right. The heart is desperately exactly. wicked, man. Hey, because you can't stop your mind from wicked thoughts starting to enter in. Right. You know, how you gonna stop that, man? You know, unless you you rolling in the rolling in the spirit, and you and, and you in his faith and his truth, and you know different things to do to, to uh, 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 purge that out the best right. you can. Right. You know, fast, pray. You know, uh, talk to a brother. You know, like venting or whatnot. You know, but how you gonna know? How, how you gonna know what's thought is wicked and what and, and what's not, what, what's right and wrong if you don't have nothing to go back to? You know. I right, so, uh read that again. Ecclesiastes 5, verse 1. Uh, Set not thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Uh, let me get a precept real quick. You can read verse 2 again. Hey, Proverbs uh, 3, verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not into thy own understanding, man. You can't be leaning upon your own mind and your own ways thinking that's the right way. Okay, hey, which ways is right? The ways of the Lord is right, man. Right. That, that was the only right way. There's a way that's even right unto a man, but to the, to the most high. It's foolishness, man. Right. You know? Right. Hey, so, so who are you supposed to lean on? Supposed to lean upon the Lord, man. Okay? He want everything that's he want everything that's best for you, not your oppressor. The oppressor is going to teach you everything not to do and to fall away from the Heavenly Father, okay? Not to get in good graces with the Heavenly Father. You know, they looking at us and we're the one that's oppressing them and, and gave them this bad way and put them in this condition. But when it comes to the oppressor, oh, let him go. Right. Let him let him say what he wants to say and do what he do. Huh? Yeah, you're right though now. Right though, man. When they come to their oppressor, the one who's doing it to them, they steady trying to save him. Well, what's just out for him this for? You ain't saying that when, when Pookie stole that chair off your porch, but 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 let Esau come and, and shoot them one of your brothers down. Let's just forgive him. Come on, brothers. It's yeah. about love. Yeah, because, you ain't saying that when you go ride on your own people. Man. Yeah, because you're teaching the betterment, right? The betterment, uh, the way uh, that's better for our people, man. That can ultimately get them saved, man. You know, the ways of righteousness, man, but our people don't want to hear that. So I'll read, read that again, Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. And that's what we're telling you, man. We're telling you to leave off and forsake your, uh, uh, forsake your wicked ways, man. Fear the Lord. You know, repent, turn from your wicked ways. You know, but hey, they gonna do what they want to do. So you gonna read that again? That's how we do it. The Exodus, what's the five? Chapter five, verse two. Yeah. Follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Yeah, because your heart is desperately wicked. That's what we just said. It's a deceitful above all things. You know. Yeah, because you know, that's what people say in the world. I'm going to follow my heart. I'm going to follow my heart. Hey, if you ain't following the Lord, your heart is meditating upon wickedness, man. Right. And say not, who shall control me from my work? Uh -huh. For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. Hey, see, hey, that's what our people say. Remember we put into that earlier about the power and the vessel? Right. You know, 
you basically telling the Lord how you gonna have control over me? How you gonna tell me what to do? Are you listening to your boss? Now maybe you how know, you know I ain't wanna hold uh, that I wanna hold water. What if I wanna hold grapes? Yeah, I, 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 he created you to hold what he gonna what what you gonna hold, man. He created you as, as a vessel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what our people say. Uh, who, who is he to control me? I'm my own God. I don't have no father, no leader. That's why the Lord is going to surely revenge your pride, man. All that pride is going to lead when it comes down to the cup that I see. Okay, if you're a God yourself, uh, you're going to feed yourself from that famine to come. You're going to deliver yourself out of that concentration camp. Okay? You ain't going to be forced to get uh, uh, be tipped. Okay? You'll be able to dodge uh, uh, bullets from, uh, from UN troops when they shooting at you and kicking down your door. You'll be able to escape all the different manners of wickedness that coming since you're your own God. Right. You know, since you're your own power and creator as you think, which you're not, you know, the Lord's gonna revenge that, man. Hey, and you people, hey, it, 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 it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be real mean, man. You know, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna get nasty out there. You know, it's good. hey, when I say we're going into some bad times, or not when I say, when I repeat what the Lord and what the scripture says is going to be bad times, that's it. That's it. Go ahead, bro. So you got what I called for, right, Trey? I'm going to need you real quick. Go ahead, bro. Who's the answer? It's five. It's three. I'm a four. And four. Yeah. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm happened unto oh, me? Oh, that's what our people say. Okay, I've been doing wickedness for years. The Lord ain't jacked me up yet. That's what our people say. You know? Go ahead. For the Lord is long, long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. Like you said, bro, y'all add sin to sin. Y'all stacking it up for that uh, indig indignation of the Lord to jack you up, man. And he's going to judge you more harshly. Give me that Ecclesiastes 8, 8 and 11. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11. Bring it out. Because sentence against an evil work uh -huh. is not executed immediately. Oh, you know, because the Lord is not jacking our people up from the sins that they're committing. Immediately, they do what? Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So they continue to do it. That's why. Because the Lord is not jacking them up. But they don't know that they're building, it up. They building that, that bank, account, bank account up to get judged for it, man. That's what they don't know. Unless they hear from the men of the Lord. Tell them. Cause we telling y'all, y'all building up that, y'all think y'all building up y'all pockets. Yeah, y'all building up that pockets to get destroyed. Go ahead, bro, is there some more on that? Though, the, though a sinner do evil a hundred times, uh -huh. and his day be prolonged, yep. yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. Yep, yep, give me Galatians 6 and 7. Galatians 6, verse 7. Yeah. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Uh-huh. For whatsoever, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall also reap. Oh, so whatever the works and the deeds that you put out, that's going to come back into you. You know what they use in the world? They say karma. Hey, so whatever you sow, you're going to reap. You ain't getting away with it, man. Although you think you are, you're really not. Read that again, brother. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Uh -huh. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. That's right. For he, he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Yeah. But he, he that soweth to the spirit of the spirit of the spirit reap life everlasting. Right. So hey, you sowing all the things to the flesh. Hey, that's what's going to come upon you, man. But for the brothers that saw it in the spirit, hey, we're going to continue to walk in the spirit, man, and continue to grow in the spirit while they grow in the flesh, while they grow in wickedness, man. Okay, and continue to put that wicked vibration and energy all throughout the earth. Okay, so go back to yours, brother. Rock five. And, and uh, six. That's right. Oh, in five. Yeah. Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. That's right. So it says, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And that's the end of the Lord. That's what we try to uh, examine ourselves, cleanse ourselves, 
upon the different things to try not to, uh, uh, to offend the Lord. You know, we do some, uh, we try to the best of our ability and different things, find ways to, how can I get this, uh, how can I purge this off of me so I won't offend the Lord again, yeah, man. So I, won't open, trans oh, sorry. so I won't transgress him again, man. You know? Yeah, it says offend less, you yeah. know? That's one of the scriptures. We're supposed to offend less. So that's what we seek after. How can we, how can we align this wicked flesh up with the most high so that we may gain his mercy? Yeah, but it says be not without fear to add sin to sin. Hey, our people don't fear the Lord, so that's why they continue to do the things they do. But they don't care. They don't care. Uh, I got I got one for you. Uh, precept. Ecclesiastes 7, verse 8. It says, bind not sin upon another, for in one thou shalt be Salafia. I'll read it again. It says, Bind not one sin upon another, for in one thou shalt not be unpunished. So the Lord said, For one sin that you commit, you shall not be unpunished. So for you to try to keep, continue to add sin upon sin means what? Like you said, you're stacking them sins up, man. You're stacking them sins up for the Lord to judge you, man. Okay? It says, Say not that the Most High will look upon the multitude of my obl oblations. And when I offer to the Most High, He will accept it. So don't say that. Don't say because you're doing these different things that the Most High is going to accept your oblations and things like that. But, That's like how in the, in, in, the, uh, in the Bible, in the old days, when we used to be like, you know what? Hey, I know later on I'm about to go sleep with his wife, so let me get two turtle doves. Let me yeah. just go ahead and put them in the cage. Yeah. Uh, he just take the sacrifice later. He, I, it's like taking. A, I'm just gonna take a shower, take a spiritual shower with these two doves. You know, even though I, I planned and, and plotted to do this with you. Come on, man. You're supposed to be afraid. You're like, oh man, Lord, I know I did this. Let me not do this too. You know, on top of it, let me not add to. It. Yeah, man. You gotta be afraid, to, you know. And, and, and that's why the Lord did away with the uh, animal sacrifices. Jake was doing that, man. Right. Jake wicked, man. You know Jake going through stuff like that. Oh, I'm about to go commit a dojo. Let me go get this turtle dog real quick. Right. Come on, man. Ass off, man. All right, so go back to you. Uh, you uh, are right, so rock five and six. Yeah. Say, and say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sin. Go so read that again, bro. And say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Yeah, so don't say that, man. Don't say, okay, because the Lord's mercy is so great that he's going to let you get away with the things that you're doing. Right. Don't don't say that, man. Because the Lord told you not to say, hey, sin upon sin, man. You know? You got to try to work things out. Go ahead. That's exactly what the Christian church teaches you through this vibration of Jesus Christ, white, you know, the other white people. Uh, 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 so rapid Christians sees a boy here. Under the Christian church, you can do whatever, man. Yep. And he will be pacified. Yeah, you gotta yeah, say, yeah, the, say the sinner's prayer and, and feel real bad about it in your heart. And all of a sudden, he's gonna be pacified for the multitude of your sins. And that's what they say, bro. They confuse uh, uh, the people of these churches. They're confusing our people with the mercy of the Lord, man. Like the Lord don't never get fed up. Hey, if the Lord would never got fed up, we wouldn't be in this captivity today. Okay? We wouldn't be in this. We wouldn't have went under the captivities of all the other, all the, under all the other nations, right? We wouldn't have all these curses on us today if you didn't get fed up. Hey man, it wouldn't have been no flood. Hey, Adam and Eve wouldn't have been kicked out the garden if he ain't never, if it wasn't never no punishment for sin. Right. We wouldn't be where we are today, man. But that's obviously not the case, man. Hey, I, I got a priest that what you said. Isaiah 1, verse 11, it says, To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of the bullocks or of the lambs or of the he goats. Right. Hey man, it's just like during the time of Samuel when he sent Saul out there to go kill the Amalekites, and he saved the animals and, saved, and, and brought Agag, the king of the Amalekites, back. The, the, he, he said, "What? I will have obedience rather than sacrifice, man." Right. Why you, why you giving all these oblations like the Most High gonna be pleased with that? No, that was your way out. Bring it. But that, that was your way out, you know what I'm saying? Not the Most that ain't what he want. He want your obedience, man. That's what he's always wanted from the beginning. Yeah. So don't, don't just, you know, don't, it's like you're getting comfortable in your mind. All I gotta do is this, the Lord gonna forgive me, man. So you 
you know what? It's like it's like you saying the Lord giving you license, but he keeps telling you over and over, I've given no man license to sin. Say ye not.